What's up guys, today I'm here to discuss my review of Venom. And I just wanna start off by making a plea to Sony. Please, stop making movies. Stop making these movies, please. For the love of God, if you love, okay, this earth, this planet, okay, if you love humanity, please stop making these films. Please, this is, this is domestic terrorism by putting these movies out here. I, I, I gave you a chance with Venom. I enjoyed it, I think many people enjoyed it. Then you did Carnage and you bastardized Carnage. Now we have the third one. And let me just tell you, this is the worst film I think I've seen in my entire life. The worst film I would rather watch Captain Marvel 10 times before going to see this movie, okay? I would rather watch, what's the girl with the stretchy arms movie or whatever, uh, uh, Mrs. Marvel, I think, whatever, whatever she's called, I'd rather watch that, bruh. Bro, I would rather play, um, I, I, I'm trying to, I'm trying to think of like a really, really bad game. You know the E.T. game that they buried because it was so bad? I would rather play that game than watch this movie again. This movie was absolute garbageness. Just absolute, just trash, bruh. Bro, the film starts off, I kid you not, about maybe a few minutes in, where they're making, he's making a drink and he's destroying the bar, right? Cause all his tendrils are going, let's make a drink, God, let's do it. And the guy is just like, what are those things, man? Bro, the acting, <laughs> the acting is fine. This is some of the worst acting I've seen in a film. The worst acting. I mean, to be fair, what's the movie where it's like, Lisa, you're tearing us apart. I, that acting, that's like Oscar nominated, nomination acting when we get to this movie. This acting was so piss poor. Bruh, absolute nonsense. No, right? They tease no. No is a nothing burger. How are they? They can't keep getting away with this. What are we talking? No is not even in this movie, bruh. Okay, no, not even here. It's like a, it's like, go get, get the thing, get the codex. And that's it, bro. That's it. I'm not even talking about the end of the, listen, they have an end of the credits film where he's just like, bah. and I'm just like, what? Bro, this movie is hot dog poop, bro. No is not in there for just a fraction of a second. It's a nothing burger plot of the codex, right? The whole point of the codex is that it, it gets created and uh, uh, when when like the, the symbiote and the host die. Now, Eddie's like, well, well, good thing we didn't die. Then they do a flashback to him dying. Obviously, I think it was in the second one. I think it was the second one. It was the second one, They die, he dies and he brings him back to life. And that's how the codex forms. Now, the Null character, he's in this prison that the symbiotes have created for him. And the Null character tells these aliens to go get the codex because the codex is the only thing that can free him. The only thing is the codex is only visible when Venom is in his full form. So it's just, bruh, it's so, so, so stupid, bruh. So stupid, okay? So dumb. Bro, there's a family. You all know the lizard, uh, uh, I think his name is Rius Ion or whatever his name is. You know, the lizard from The Amazing Spider-Man 2? I thought they were gonna do something fun with that, right? They are like gonna hit, like this is a multiverse or something like, I was, that's what I was expecting. Like, yo, maybe he doesn't have his arm in this, you know, in this movie. None of that, bro. He's just a random character, right? He's a random character with the family. They have about a 15 minute sing along scene in the movie. I kid you not. Y'all think I'm joking. They're like, Lucas, there's no way there's a 15 minute sing along in the movie. There's no way, bruh. I, anyone who's seen the movie, they know what I'm talking about. It's just a random sing along where they're all just like, la, da, 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 da. I'm just like, they, <laughs> they, spent, they spent money creating this movie, bro. Do you understand someone had to green light this film? Do, do, 
Do you understand? Every single time I think about this, because there was moments I was just taken out of the movie and it was just like I was, I was having an existential crisis. I was like, wait, someone put American dollars <laughs> to make this film. Someone actually wrote this movie. Someone actually had to edit this film. And I just, when I think about that, I just think about how much money is wasted, bro. How much money is wasted? How many talentless people there are in the industry? Just completely talentless. There's no way this film should have been freaking greenlit. No way on God's green earth. There is a dance scene. Bruh, what, what have they done to my beloved Venom? What have they done to my beloved Venom, bruh? They've made Venom a joke. They made him a joke. He's 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 the punchline now. And like he's dancing with Mrs. Chen. This is after he's talking about, hey, the only way to, to get rid of the codex is one of us dies, right? So I'm gonna have to keep low so that this monster doesn't find us. So I, for no reason, <laughs> no reason, Venom's like, well, I wanna dance with Mrs. Chen. And so they start dancing, despite knowing that if he dances in full Venom form, the Codex is gonna be visible and the monster's gonna try and kill him to get the Codex. But it's just like, let's do it because it'll be a fun scene to have Venom dance with Mrs. Chin. Bro, I don't know what, what, what they were smoking. I don't know what is this movie. I don't know what this movie is. This is, it should not be played in theaters. Then we get to like the final chapter, right? Because you have to understand, Eddie Brock is being framed for the murder of the detective. We come to find out that the detective is still alive. He has a, a symbiote that they've been using him to, to keep alive. And they're like, no is coming. No wants the destruction of the earth, yada, yada, yada. Long story short, the end of the chapter ends with all the symbiotes, right? Because the symbiotes, they have them in this bunker. All the symbiotes get on, on to the scientists to fight this creature because obviously Eddie gets re, uh, reunited with the symbiote once they capture him, because they wanna capture him. This is so stupid thing, because one of the, you know the, the thing that's supposed to, to get the codex? That monster kills one of the dude's men, and that guy's like, I lost three men, oh, we go, we're gonna get these guys. So they capture Eddie, they capture, they detach him from the symbiote, they have him in the bunker, the thing comes and finds them, because they, for some reason, I don't know why, let's just, this play, the, the film is all over the place. It's just, it seems like it was edited by someone who was bipolar, like someone who was schizophrenic. I, that's what, genuinely, that's how the edit feels. Because they've established the only time this monster can spot them is when, you know, Venom's in full form, as I said, right? Then they can see the codec. So, this is the dance segment with Mrs. Chen. Before the monster comes, the, 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 the SWAT team guys, they come and they separate them with this sonar pulse type of gun. And so it's separated. So the monster comes and it doesn't see the codex, right? It's like <laughs> So for whatever reason, the monster follows the aircraft. Why? It's never explained. Because the only thing we've been told is that the only thing the monster wants is the codex. The only thing it cares about is the codex. That's it. That's all it cares about. So why it followed this 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 helicopter? We don't know because it's not it's not pinging the codex because they've separated Eddie from the symbiote. So it follows the the helicraft uh, the helicopter all the way into the underground bunker. So when Eddie reattaches with the symbiote in the underground bunker, then it goes and attacks, which then causes you know people like hey we'll get get attached to the symbiote right now. From my understanding, that completely undermines the whole premise of, I think, Venom 1, right? Because they wanted to attach, they wanted to get symbiosis. They wanted complete symbi symbiosis, right? And that was so difficult to attain because it kept killing the host. They wanted symbiosis. So all of a sudden, <laughs> for the sake of the script, all the symbiotes achieve perfect, perfect symbiosis with all the scientists fighting this monster, but they've already shown us that the monster can't be killed. Because you know in the, in the trailer where he's like on the plane? Once again, stupid, absolutely freaking stupid. But 
they have this fight scene on the plane and the monster gets, you know, torn up through the engine, gets in, you know, little pieces. But what we see is that the pieces all go back together. So I'm like, why are you attacking this thing if it's just gonna come back together? Which kind of undermined the whole climactic experience of the final act of the movie, which was all the, the symbiotes attacking the monsters. So I'm like, what's the point of the attack if they just gonna come right back? I, I just like, there was no risk here. There was nothing involved that, that somebody could lose because the only person who's gonna lose here are the scientists with the symbiotes. But sure enough, is exactly what happened. Long story short, what happens is Venom sacrifices himself, Venom the symbiote, he grabs the monsters and he goes under this acid freaking, you know, this acid shower. That's, that's in the film. But the film ends with like a montage of like the scenes between Eddie and Venom throughout the, the, the trilogy. And I'm just like, what is this? What is this? I kid you not. And I don't know if, if I'm supposed to cry, is this supposed to be really happy? Because freaking Tom Hardy just has this look on his face. You just walk and just. <laughs> I'm just like, what is going on? What is going on? Who is the director, bro? It sounds like the director just said, we just want you to walk. Just walk. Bro, this film is dog water. It's dog poop. It's, it's complete ass. It's garbage. Don't watch it. I think there should be a boycott from anyone. It, they should pull it out of the theaters as far as I'm concerned. Now I got the little popcorn thing. I think that's cool, but that's the extent of how cool this film is. That's it. The merchandise is cool. The film is garbage. This, this, this is a, this is so disrespectful to Spider-Man. Okay. This is so disrespectful to Spider-Man. And then you're doing Craven? How are you doing all of Spider-Man's rogues gallery without Spider-Man? How you did Venom without Spider-Man is just boom, just ultimate disrespect. But I'm just like, this mo movie was garbage. It was ass, the acting was ass, editing was ass, story didn't make any sense. All of it was bad. I, I won't say all of it was bad. The highlight to the film, well, I would say it was the special effects. Special effects were good which makes it even worse. Because I'm like, you spent all this money on shooting on location, on doing these special shots, right? All the venoms, the tendrils and all that for an ass story with ass acting. Bro, I kid you not, I thought I was going crazy. I thought that this person had been introduced in a previous film. And what I'm referring to is that they have an introduction of this scientist, this female scientist. And the introduction is she's in her bed and she's just like having a, a nightmare and she has like this little, you know, scar on her arm. And in her nightmare that is shown to us, she's running with her brother. Don't know anything about her brother, but a lightning comes out and strikes her. And it ends up, you know, her brother passes away. That's our introduction to her. Boom, she's now the lead, you know, scientist at this facility. That's it. They did that, they did the same thing with, the, with, the, with another scientist, the black scientist. She has like a little Santa Claus pin, but, that's all we know about it. It's like, my, your, my mother gave me this pen. That's, that's the extent of her character. We don't, that's it, that's all we know. This, it's a pen, it's a little Christmas pen. That's it. Bro, man, <laughs> eternal damnation for these script writers. For the, for the director, bro, just absolute, they deserve the worst of the worst, bro. They deserve the worst of the worst. This, this, oh my God. I, you know what? We're gonna end the video because I don't even want to remember this film. I don't want to remember this film, bruh. I would go get shock therapy just to forget this film. Give me the bit. Just, that's what I would honestly do if it was available, okay? If it was available, I would do it in a heartbeat. This film was absolute ass. If you enjoy this film, please, Leave me alone. Stay far, far from me, okay? Um, because that is suicidal tendencies or some type of serial killer spirit you have in you. And you gotta figure that out. That's bad juju. Nevertheless, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to like, share, comment, subscribe. Till next time, guys, keep animating.